What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. I'm chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about Goten's hidden power. Let's get into this. Now, for one, Goten was able to go Super Saiyan at the age of seven. Now, he was actually able to first go Super Saiyan at the age of three, which means there has to be some latent ability for you to reach the legendary Saiyan mode at an infant stage. He has the potential to surpass all of the DBC fighters. Now, I'm pretty sure he already surpassed Gohan, but let's be real, who hasn't? Now, Goten is actually looked, on, looked upon higher than Gohan is now. Gohan was the favorite of a lot of Dragon Ball Z fans. Dragon Ball Super, everybody's looking for Goten to replace Gohan and hopefully be one of the prime characters in the series. Now, Goten and Trunks managed to gain Super Saiyan 3 in order a short time after seeing it. Yes, they fused, but the fact is, they were able to go Super Saiyan 3. They mastered that ability. Now, their bodies are too young right now to really handle Super Saiyan 3 on their own. As shown in Dragon Ball GT, Goku couldn't even hold Super Saiyan 3 in his kid form because it's too much stress on the body. But as a fusion, they are able to do it. These kids actually managed to do something. It took Goku years. These kids managed to do it in a few months. That's a prodigy if I've ever seen one. Now, let's get back to them fusing. When they fuse, of course, the power level is tremendous. Now, when they separate, where does that excess power go? I believe it goes back into them because that power Goten has has to come from somewhere. So... It splits a little bit into one. It splits a little bit into the next one. Because let's be honest, their combined power level the way it is now would not even stand a chance against, I'll even say Cell. But with Gotenks, the fusion itself causes an immense power overload. That's how they were able to go into Super Saiyan 3. When they cancel the fusion, I guarantee you some of that power goes back into them because their kids, they do not know how to regulate it. Now, and they also are not thinking about that also because, once again, they're kids. I believe Trunks is like, what, eight? Yeah, I believe Trunks is like eight. Goten is seven. Now, I find it amazing that this dude was able to go Super Saiyan at the age of three. I'll possibly make another video about Pan later on. But at the age of three, he was able to become a Super Saiyan. So he was just walking and becoming a Super Saiyan. He has the potential to be far stronger. Him and Trunks, they have the potential to be more powerful than all of those DBZ characters. Gohan was nowhere near half as strong as Goten was at that age. Goku was not even a percent of the power level that Goten was when Goku was that age. Now, with that latent ability, plus I guarantee you it's going to be some type of training, God key training. I believe that a lot of them are going to get God key training because that's the only way for them to transition. And I know that the DBZ franchise is not only going to hold on to Goku and Vegeta as the main guys. He, they have to give everybody else a chance to be in the spotlight. Now the thing is, Goten and Trunks' training is going to be vigorous because I'll make a video about that. They can only go into the God key chamber as Gotenks. Yeah, so after the 30 minutes is up, they have to leave out, wait, and then go back in. That's how they're going to get the God Key. They're going to harness it with Gold Tanks, and when they separate, the God Key will still be in their bodies. That's what I was talking about, the whole energy separation. All right, y'all, thanks again for watching. This has been your homeboy, Popular Video Games here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. Peace out, y'all, and talk to you later.